Thanks, man. Take care. Oh, no. Sure. You want Batman? Yeah, I think I gotta okay. get Batman. You can use this page if you want. It has some little splatters. Or, or you would you um? One. Would you rather do Joker? I'll leave it up to you. I'm all warmed up at Batman. <laughs> so I'll take a Batman. <laughs> okay. Just in case. Should be mostly dry, but. And this is the new Zorro book, right? Yep, that's Man of the Dead. That's out right now. Issue one just came out uh, a couple weeks ago. I'll have to check this out at the comic book shop. Thank you so nice much. You I appreciate yeah. it. Have the rest of your weekend. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Take you. Care, guys. Nice to meet you. Take you. Yeah, thank you so much. Take care. You too. We'll see you tomorrow too. <laughs> oh man, that thing is sick. Get a close up of that. Look at that. That's awesome. That, I gotta admit, that probably is probably the best one, right? That like is the amazing. favorite? Yeah. I am in shock right now how that turned out. That was so quick. Feel free to take a look through any of the portfolios you see here. I'm all full of original art from different price ranges. If you need any prices, you let me know. I'm okay. Matt, and these are the two Simones. The two Simones? Yes, the Mio and Bianchi. They sit you guys together on purpose. They were like, that's a good idea. Let's you know, I own the Tulia Art Collective, and the, these are the two artists that I represent. Oh, there you so go. it just happened to be that both have the same. <laughs> Name. Just happened to work. That's out. funny. Two Simones. That's that's the way. Two Italian Simones. Oh my gosh! Look at these. Oh, this was a commission wow. he did for the show. Pretty show. Beautiful. Classic Batman on gargoyle. Wow. I don't know what I like more, your Batman or your Wolverine, because you do a great Wolverine. Thank you. Do you have a favorite character to to draw? I lo love them all. Oh wow, look at that. You gotta see the, the published cover is absolutely wild. Whoa! These are sick! <laughs> wow. So how much does something like this usually go for? I think this one's 10,000. I think I could give you the exact price, but general range. Oh my wow. gosh. And then this is the uh, one of the interiors, right? So these, this is the size he did for the interior pages for the Joker 80th anniversary. So this is a page, not a cover, it's a page. Why, why does he do the pages so big if they're just gonna shrink it down, I guess, to get more detail in there? Yes. That's a lot of work though, wow. He likes to work. Yeah, that thing he's doing I over do. there is awesome. That's a commission for someone. Beautiful piece. Oh wow, the Venom. Look at that. That's how Venom should look, too nice and, nice yep. and beefy. Yeah, two Thor. Fours. Wow. Oh, the Loki. Classic Loki. Do you have a favorite character that he draws? Very much. Black Bolt. Black Bolt? I don't think I've seen too much Black Bolt. That spawn is nice, too. I'll show you. This one's, uh... Oh, is that Conan? Oh, yeah. Conan the Barbarian. Whoa! Look at that Conan. I'm a huge Conan fan. What's going on, Matt? That's awesome. Hey, that's, that's, there is, is, um, that's a great cover there, too. Oh, there's Black Bolt. I don't know. Oh, wow, yeah. And then you got oh, the resource yeah. So I pulled these all out of the box that I, that I opened. So I don't Thank know if, you. I don't oh, know those if you've are the Midnight Suns. We just opened that too. Yep. <laughs> oh, wow. I so. forgot you did this, some of the cards in that set. That was a really nice set up Dicted. I saw you did uh, some of the original art cards with that too. Yeah, I signed some of these. They they sent it to me from Upper Deck, but yeah, the I don't ones. have any for my own collection. Did you create sh Shush or? Yeah, that was your full creation. Yeah, that's awesome. Is that your first character you ever created? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, I created a lot of character for uh, other publishers or yeah, for DC is the, the first one. Yeah. yeah, there's the cover right there for one of the. Um, I think that was cover A that they did. I remember picking that up at the comic book shop. I'm a big Hush fan. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the first appearance of Shush. <laughs> oh, that's a oh, nice, nice Poison yeah. Ivy piece there. Do you have a favorite character that you like to work on? The Batman. Batman? Yeah, Batman. Yeah. 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 Sorry, guys. Sorry. Do you have these priced up or are these just... Are these, do these have prices on them? Yeah, uh, to ask to my... Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, that seems to be what it is. Nobody knows the prices of their artwork. They have someone else that, yeah, that yeah. handles it for them. Whoa, look at that Ghost Rider. That is insane. Thank you. Yeah, this and is then your Bucky, wow. 
Yeah. So are these sold? Yeah, it's commissions. How much is a commission like this? Do you know how much uh, a commission this, goes this for? This one, 1.5K, and this one a cover quality 4K. Wow, yeah, but these are awesome though. It almost doesn't even look like it's drawn. Yeah. Like it, it and winter soldiers. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice yeah, yeah. that. Yeah, you yeah, wrote yeah. it in there. That is so creative and awesome. I love this Ghost Rider Thank though. You. That is Thank that you. is awesome. It's like the Danny Ketch Ghost Rider, you know, like the 90s. Yep. I love that. Your Batman is awesome. You can tell you love drawing Batman. You. you put a lot of a lot of detail into it. Wow, yeah, there's the... Shush. So how did you go about creating the character? Did they give you, like, full creative control? Uh, no, we, I, 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 I talked with uh, the, the writer, Joshua Williamson, about the, uh, the, about the character, about the details, about the, the feelings, and after I can create the, the design with the, the dress and costume completely free. Yeah, it's, it's fun to do. Do you collect any comics currently? I, yeah, yeah, I collected Batman, uh, more original art from my favorite artist. Yeah, I Who's your favorite artist? I don't have just one, I have some favorite artists for some reasons, but yeah. Uh, more Americans, more European, more Japanese, yeah. Oh, that's cool too. It's the the logo for the business, so it's on the uh, it's on oh, the yeah, tablecloth, right and then this guy did the other oh, wow. called, uh, cybernetic samurai. Collecting for about ten or fifteen years now. And, sure, um, your personal yeah, personal yeah. So I brought everything. <laughs> everything's for sale. Chris Pachalo. Oh, that's yeah, that's Chris Pachalo. Yep. Oh, yeah. Whoa, Arthur, Arthur Adams, Adams on Storm. Storm, Spider-Man, Beast, Storm. Ryan Otley. <laughs> How uh, how rare is a Otley full figure in full color? That's wild. His Spider Man's pretty nice too. Though. I love the way he does oh, like yeah. the battle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This, this is the concept of this where he's like punching mouth. him off. Oh, he's punching the symbiote off. Amazing, beautiful. Two oh, shots wow, by that is oh, awesome. This is one of my favorite pieces uh, he's ever so done on Nine by Twelve. It's uh, truly. Amazing. He doesn't do a lot of miles either. I don't. No. I don't see him do a lot of miles. That's Simone, amazing. this one's not too shabby. It's not the chef. Do <laughs> all the prices? It's definitely not the chef. Brian still frees miles. Inside the Rock Spider Man. Yeah. Marco Matrazo, Spider Man. Tony Moy, right behind you. You're the best one. A couple. I'm a big I, I fan of Black like Panther. That. So Ken Lashley, Herman like Peralta. Close to manga. Uh, and then I love some like easy pencil really stuff. So Asad yeah. Ribich Thor, Addy Pranoff, Iron Sorry, Man. I don't want to swim in here. Mark Texera, Wolverine. Wow. Amanda Connor, published cover with Jimmy's Inks, uh, J. Scott Campbell prelim, Alex Ross prelim, Johnny Desjardins, uh, Mark Morales, uh, Stephen Platt worksheet. This is crazy. I love seeing Whoa. stuff like this because this is how he just gets warmed up. So it's <laughs> yeah. just an insane, a, uh, an I, I, like you can just see into their mind of how they started and where oh they got. Gosh, and then a couple of pencil amazing. sketches from Simone. So he yeah, started for Marvel really Masterpiece. Really this one actually ended up being a massive 18 by 24 painting and he just started with a little that means no sketch and I think it's so cool to see from the start yeah. all the way to the end. Yeah. That's an incredible some collection. Here, if you want to take a look as well. Some, some Bill Sienkiewicz. This is uh, Vincent D'Onofrio, Kingpin, character design for Netflix. Signed by Vincent himself. So feel free to take a look through anything you want. Videotape, pictures, whatever you need. If you need any pricing, let me know. Thank you. Sure. There's a lot of crazy artwork here. We've only seen a few tables. There's still a lot more to go. Where do we go next? We haven't bought any original art. We haven't. Either. Maybe we should do that. Oh, Jimmy Palmiotti is there too. What? Right next to Amanda Connor. Oh, and Adam Hughes is over there. Well, it's a poppin' corner. Wow, Sarah, look at that. Oh, that. Oh, I got it. I need it. That's my, that's my goal. Wow. 
get that as well. The price right. What's the price on that? So that's one of the commissions that Adam Cree did for the event. That was uh, six thousand. Um, it was supposed to be eight by ten, and all of the commissions magically got bigger. So everybody, ah. yes, <laughs> everybody is getting a little treat in that regard. Yes. Wow, was, these are so nice. Last night, Sarah. Yes. Okay. Oh, you're never here. Uh, <laughs> I was telling Allison that like th th this this woman started walking towards me and I didn't have my glasses on and and I said she started to move like a Ray Harryhausen stop motion character because she started walking up and then she went <laughs> and then she started going sideways and circled around my friend Mark like like the Miniton from like Miniton. seventh Miniton. It was called Miniton. Oh in the movie. really? Okay. That's so funny. And I was just kind of I was telling her last night I said yeah I was. Like really, it was dark. I had my glasses on, and I, it was very dark out there. It was like there was this stop motion woman that came up and asked me. She's like, right, okay, yeah. It just, it just, we trust me. We see things. It's okay. That's so funny. They got a little bigger than the commission size because I was like, I was feeling like That's beautiful. they're paying a lot of money for this. Oh yeah. And also my eyesight. I was like, I was like you're like it needs to be bigger. Like that. If you're comfortable, I always say, you know, you give them the minimum that they paid for, but knock yourself out if you want to do more. Oh yeah. If you're feeling the art and run with it. Yeah. Is this a commission too? Yep. That's nice. Yeah, right, right there at the back are the, the commissions that are done and I've got to go get them scanned before people come get them. Mm. Those are cool. That was actually a gig poster for Pat Oswald. Oh, is it? Yeah. If you go to his website, oh it's leaving. Oh my gosh, look at that night crawler. Awesome. You got Jean. Do you have a favorite commission that you did for this event? Oh, uh, the Catwoman. The Catwoman's your favorite? I'm a big Vampirella fan, so that one I'm going to say is my favorite. Catwoman. Is there a character you enjoy drawing the most? No, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm all dead inside, so I don't really... <laughs> I don't have any favorites anymore, so I just like I've got a, I've got a couple that I hate doing. So, oh, but I don't want Batman anymore. Oh, oh. The art of the internet. Thank you. Okay. Don't want to say anything bad about Batman. Some of this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a lot of people that say Batman's their favorite. Uh, okay. I like if you could do me a favor and delete never liked, that last photo, you know, I would appreciate blue and gray it because Batman. Uh, I, I, like I actually him when twisted he's his arm so that he bring it. And, uh, and um, it's just so much ink, so much marker. Yeah, I'll, it's I'll just get, like trouble. you know, when somebody asks me to draw a character oh. like uh, Ghost or Moon Knight, it's like, oh, yes, that, it's all it's, is there a character that you haven't you. done yet that you would like to do professionally or just at all? At all. Daredevil. I've never drawn Daredevil. Really? You've never drawn Daredevil? That's another one. We don't really have. Yeah. You've yeah. never drawn Daredevil. What? Yeah. Only drew Spider-Man like professionally for the first time about four or five years ago. Wow. And it was like, you know, I've done dozens of, of commissions and sketches, but I've so never actually a, a been paid by Marvel Comics to draw Spider-Man. So I got uh, actually, you know, high 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 that's that's her. Cool. Yeah, that one's cool. That's, like her, that one. that's her Scooby Doo theory. Uh -oh. Jimmy approves. He says absolutely. Got Black Canary. Oh wow. You couldn't get these to make. I come out one morning, couldn't stop the party. Radiator was stolen. Wow. The ride that sort of like car crime oh. yeah, yeah. and it's you know these southern cops uh you know those ones um uh and they they uh tase uh this girl who's harboring this this cop's wife who is her sister she tase her and then she wakes up in the, in the sex shed but naked um and i really i mean i hope nobody buys this page because i'm never again going to get to draw a bucket of I was attracted to the book. Uh, they, they, the writer said, just fill it with everything you can think of. And I said, I'm really dull. I can't think of anything. Like, So this is not newer. This is an older... It's about five years old. Oh, it's so only five years old. Okay. What was the first comic you ever did work on? Uh, it was a black and white comic in the in the mid '80s called Eagle. It was sort of a kung fu sorcery character, you know, like if Doctor Strange like could kick asses. Um, and uh, doing transactions. I was. Uh, I need you to read off your credit card number to the fans. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
the uh, the guys who published it lived like two towns away from me. And back in the 80s, everybody was doing black and white comics, you know, because all you needed was like a couple grand and you could put out a book. You know, apparently color was the thing that was expensive. That's what they did with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, right? Yeah, exactly. So um, they gave me a pinup. So they gave me a pinup, and that was my first job. Do you remember the first time you worked on a, like a big publisher? What the character was? Yeah, it was, uh, well, it was uh, Justice League for DC Comics. That was my big like, uh, you know. Oh my gosh, that's the cover of Alice Never After. I love that one. Wow, that's a cool one. See, that's the size I normally work at. Yeah, you usually do like the large scale. Yeah. It's just because of my eyes. Yeah. Wow. These agencies, the first book I ever yeah. Oh, wow, is that book. color or is that a, that's a print, right? That's not good. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the printed version of this. this okay. is, Marvel was going to do another swimsuit comic. Uh, it was a couple years ago, several years ago. They were doing like a comic, to, it was like Marvel's 60th anniversary or 70th anniversary, and they were doing a, a comic to celebrate each decade. So to ce celebrate the 90s, they were going to do another swimsuit issue. They got me to do the wraparound cover until somebody upset stairs with a Mickey Mouse tie and a corner office went, what are you guys thinking? What in the world are you thinking? Oh, the cat pages are on or all this? Yeah, you gotta ask her. Yeah, no problem. Now those are as big as they are. They're bigger than all the other pages because I've never gotten to draw a cap story before and I've always wanted to because he's my favorite superhero. And I thought like, it's only four pages and since Mark Wade wrote it. Uh, I thought if I drew it really, really oversized, it would last longer. Like I would, I would have a longer experience Doing it and it worked. It took me like two weeks. So, uh, what was the thought process behind the signature? Because I gotta admit, I think your signature might be one of the most forged in the industry. Well, it's easy to forge. Yeah. yeah. Um, it looks easy to forge. I can always tell a fake. Yeah. It's amazing because Adam does it so often that it's quick and fast. Mm -hmm. When people think about it, yeah, they it looks nothing like his signature. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's actually really obvious when it's, it looks easy, it's not. Um, I was doing a classic X-Men cover. Uh, which back in the 90s they were reprinting early issues of the all new all different X-Men uh, and they just they put new covers on them and reprinted them um, and I did the one where Rogue shows up at the um, the mansion and it's the first time she's a good guy she's like you know I need Colossus like you know locks her down and stuff like that um, and I drew the cover and I filled it like a Victorian room with every there was art in every space I didn't have room for my whole H-E-G H-E-S, so I just wrote my initials. Oh, if I put an exclamation mark, it'll look like, you know, exciting. exciting. <laughs> and that's, I was like, oh, I'm just going to sign everything like that from now on. Your artwork probably sells as soon as you, you put it up for auction or sale, right? Uh, the fact that you're looking at, at a portfolio full of unsold art would, would prove you wrong, you know? Uh, Do you have any pieces that are in the auction tonight? I think the piece that, uh, the Spread Sonya piece that uh, I did with Gerhard. Oh, that one's yeah. going up? Oh. Yeah. And sir, just to so let you know, oh, excuse me, sir, there's a couple of pieces that, like, you can't take pictures of these ones. Yes. As okay. You guys sell them that? How much is it out of curiosity? No, they would be a little bit of a thing. That's a <laughs> five to ten thousand estimates. It's a bit of a so to be determined on the price, we'll see what it sells for later. That's a great piece though. You gonna bid on it, Sarah? Yeah. <laughs> I'll do, I'll, I'll do the first bid, and then I'll let everyone else have one. I'll be like, one dollar. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. That's Mark Silvestri, I'm pretty sure. Which one, this one? Yeah, on Wolverine. First Lady Deathstrike. Yeah, that's a, that's a great cover right there. Wow. How much something like that go for? Let's see. It. 20, 30 grand. Wow. Whoa, the Campbell cover. With Black Cat. That's awesome. And you got Daredevil, Man Without Fear. Is that? That's not Ramita, is it? John Ramita? That's John Ramita Jr. already. Oh, it is. It's all coming up in the top. February 15th. Oh my gosh, look at that Mike Mignola piece. No way, this is what I'm looking for. 
That is sick. Oh man, I would love that. This will be in the auction? Yep, it's a cover to an omnibus. That is so cool. One day I'll have a Mignola Hellboy piece. And you got some nice, this looks like Kirby. That's Kirby New Gods, a very famous splash page. That's New Gods 6. And then the Marvel 2 in 1. That's George Perez. And Beautiful Terry Perez. Austin. Cosmic King. That's Kirby. Jack Kirby. Cover. Marvel's Greatest Comics on the 28th. I love those old ones too back in the day because you could see all the little imperfections with them and the whiteout. Yep. Some detail. That Wolverine is sick. I'm a huge Mark Silvestri fan. That is awesome. We got Spider Man. And then another Captain America. John Romita, yeah. Wow, look at all the deep instruments. Aquaman. Aquaman. These are all covers, like commissions, Omni-Man, oh that Moon Knight, sick. Oh, remarks for 150? Oh, that's the cover to the new Moon Knight, that's sick. That's the first appearance of the new Moon Knight. Batman, very cool. I'd like to get a remark. All right. Do we need to come back? If possible. Um, I can take it. Oh, really? Uh, remark. Uh, yeah. Are we full or? Uh, no, no, I, I can do it. It's just. Are you here on weekend? Yeah, we'll be We here could come by if later on, yeah. And, uh, is it a, it's in your book? Yeah. All right, well, give you two seconds. Tell. Okay. These are always fun to do. Oh yeah, that's a big like mash piece, yeah. yeah it's fun putting a magneto beside like a Simpsons yeah. character. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's Loki, but you know. Simpsons style. Yes. Okay. What's your name? It'll be Sarah and Sarah. Oh, you have a lot of Finch you, uh, originals? Not Finch, unfortunately. I don't Vampirella. have Finch. Vampirella? Vampirella. I as well. Vampirella. I'm a big Vampirella collector. Yeah. And then this one? Dude, my first time on the table. It doesn't have a... Yeah, that's awesome. That's wonderful. See, number eight, two, six, two, eight. Okay. So how do I do that? Do I put lots of beautiful, beautiful stuff on the walls. What's your favorite piece you own? Huh? What's your favorite piece you own? It's a Richard Corbin Grim Wit number two. The first appearance of Den. Oh, that's cool. I paid thirty thousand dollars for it eight years, ten years ago. Just recently had it appraised at one hundred seventy-five thousand dollars. That's awesome. Well, that's a good return. <laughs> but I, but I own um, Frank Frazetta, Wally Wood. Do you have any Frazetta originals? Yeah, on a full page, uh, on a full page Frank Frazetta original. I think it's D is for Danger. I think. Wow. And I I also own a strip of Frank Fazetta, a three-page strip. Um, I'm not sure what that was, but it was a great, a great piece. So I own two Frank Fazetta. I own about eight Wally Woods. Uh, I'm just trying to think of uh, uh, Bernie Wrightson, Mike Kaluta. Every, um, all the big ones. That's I mean, I did, like I said, I'm, I'm filling up gaps is what I'm doing. I haven't seen, <laughs> to be honest, I haven't seen a lot of pieces that are under $800. Yeah, there's Everything not too much. Everything's so pricey. awesome, but it's pretty pricey. We're going to say hi to everybody throughout the weekend, but I'm just trying to, trying to buy some stuff. How do you guys decide what to bring to the shows? It's just... I kind of go through them. Like, I try and make sure we bring the newest stuff, and then um, we just, you know, pick out some that have main characters on them or um, action pages, things like that people might be interested in. There's uh, Predator vs. Wolverine. You try. That's what I try and look at. Number one, page ten. And get a variety, you know, for different ones that are left. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Predator vs. Wolverine. Oh, yeah, those are nice. Let's see if we could get, like, an action scene or something. Fifty. I'm trying to think of the page that wants Oh, that's cool. With the Predator. Because it was issue two. Yeah, I'm just trying to get what's on that page. I'm, almost, I get, I'm getting confused. Do you have a favorite character to draw? Kirby Monsters. I mean, I like working on Spider-Man. You know, whenever I've gotten to draw him, it's always been a lot of fun. But anything that's got, you know, like, uh, uh, Marvel women characters in it. You know, Phoenix, Domino, Black, Black Jean Grey. I was going to say, I love your Jean Grey. Yeah. Wow, 
Uh, that's a great one there too with all the, the hanging stuff. Oh, and the Predator. Wow, Spider-Man vs. Blade. Oh, that's an awesome. I just do like either cash or paper. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. That is awesome. Do you guys negotiate on prices with, with original art often? Not no, very often. Not on new pages for sure, but some of the older ones, you know, we can maybe. Or if you buy two or three pieces, we'll try and do something, you know. There's some that. Some you feel you parked and you got where you need them. Do you guys ever regret selling artwork and then seeing it go up in value? Yeah, I've like got a Phoenix book. Yeah, the Phoenix <laughs> cover. Yeah, that's that's you one know, I could have sold a hundred times like over. Old, you know, but you know, I actually kind of wish I still had yeah, that one. Yeah, I've got a few things so that I'm holding me. back uh, it. that I've never offered up. So if I have a sketchbook, for like I'm not at the show. I've got a bunch of pre-con mm -hmm. stuff. Okay, that I've got to get my guys. Yeah, that's something you probably got to get in early with. Yeah, yeah. mail it to you or something. I want yeah, to take your sketchbook. <laughs> Angela, wow, that's Greg Capullo. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, and look at that one too. Swan 47, page wow. two and three. The uh, Adam Cooper. He's not here yet. Oh, he is here. Oh, is he here? Oh, that's why the lines are big let's over there. Out. Let's go check it. All right, let's go see. Yeah. All right, the line for Cooper is a long one. <laughs> Are people getting stuff sketched by him, though? I don't know. I don't think he's doing sketches. I think he's just um, doing signatures.